Hi, I'm Paul Rain. I'm a regional performance manager for East and London South East. I'm responsible for management and delivery of the regional performance programme within those two regions. I'm also here to offer advice on transition. And I also work with class associations, clubs and the regional training group coaching team to deliver that performance programme. In chapter one, we introduced the subject of transitioning. In chapter two, we then looked at the programme background and what it involved. Within this chapter, we're going to look at the timing and the support available to sailors who want to transition. Timing is really important, the when and the why. We need to look at both of those as to when we're going to transition or change class. Maturation growth spurt. During the early years of our life, we grow at very different rates, but at certain points, this growth is accelerated. Boys and girls will develop at different times, as this can be seen on the chart, with boys perhaps developing a little later than the girls. This growth spurt will have a really important factor on when you decide to change classes and move on. Why look to change to a new class? As I said earlier, with our maturation and growth spurt, sailors become too tall or too heavy and they simply are not competitive within their new old class. So perhaps it's time to move on. We have, may have sailors who have been sailing single-handed, perhaps they're going double-handed, or vice versa, have been sailing double-handed boats and want to go single-handed. Age is also a consideration in some classes. Once we get to a certain age, we have to move on. We need to move out of that class. Or simply, it's time for a change. We need to have a new challenge, new force to move forwards. Changing classes, as I said, in some classes we have to exit at a certain age, the sailors age out. The obvious choice is to move into a youth class and we'll go through the youth classes in a subsequent chapter later on. Youth class is not the only choice, there are plenty of other boats to, to move forward to, they are just as challenging and will give you a different outlook on going sailing. Um, the great thing with the youth classes is they all have a good open training circuit and racing circuit that you can get involved with as you move. There are lots of other options. Um, there's the keelboating, British Keelboat Association. Um, that's for over 18 year old sailors. There's also team racing and I'm sure you've done some of that during your coaching, during your time with your squads. Match racing, or we can get into the race officials. Uh, running the racing, the rules, etc. Or we could come and get involved with the coaching and instructing of the various training groups. Transition top tips. It's really important to have a go with lots of different boats. Don't just plump for one, have a go at them all, see what you think, see what really fits you and what you fancy moving towards. When you have decided, there's lots of things you're going to learn. You're going to need to learn the fundamentals of setting that boat up and especially the techniques that you'll need to sail your new class. You'll need perhaps to develop physically. Um, the youth classes are, are a more physical class. You'll need to get fitter as you move forwards. As I said earlier, the training is definitely available throughout each of the youth classes. So it gives you time to practice and get up to speed with the rest of the boats within that class. So the next chapter will be about what class of boat or board you want to move to. It will give you some of the statistics of height, weight, etc. within those class associations. Thank you very much and I uh, hope you enjoyed that chapter.